Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to make a video on the topic of how to be popular. I think in the past, if I had thought about myself making a video on this topic, I would have thought it kind of laughable. Like, when I was younger, I didn't necessarily consider myself a very popular person. I actually felt pretty unpopular, and I was bullied a lot in school. On the other hand, now, I feel like I'm pretty well connected with people. I know lots of people, and people seem to like me a lot. At least there are a lot of people who express that they like a lot of things about me. And I wish I could kind of go back in time and teach my earlier self some things that I think helped me to feel more connected to people. And that's what this is about. I really want to question the idea of popularity. I think one of the things that was actually holding me back from being happy earlier in life was this idea of popularity, that like people are either popular or they're not popular. The world we live in is pretty diverse, and I think if you want to be popular, it makes sense to ask yourself the question of popular with whom, and also what does it mean to be popular? Like, do you want to alter the way you present yourself in a way that isn't true to what you really want, just so that people will manifest, like, superficial appreciation for you? They won't necessarily be appreciating you for who you really are or what you really want, but they might be appre appreciating or connecting with these outward things that you're doing that aren't really what you want to be doing. Is that popularity? Are you popular if you sort of play a game to fit into social norms. I don't think that's popularity at all. Uh, I think when I was younger, I kind of fumbled with a lot of social norms, and there were some that I rejected and some that I accepted, and I would do certain things thinking, oh, like, this will make me more popular or something, and I don't think that that's a really healthy way to approach things. I think that if you embrace the idea that what matters most is to connect with the people who see you for who you really are. I think that that's a much healthier idea of popularity to work towards. I don't think it's possible for people to be liked by everyone. There's always going to be someone out there who dislikes you, or even hates you, and it might be for some of the things that you really care about, or some of the things you really believe in. And that's one of the downsides of this really diverse world we live in. Uh, there's a lot of diversity in what people like, and there's a lot of diversity in what people dislike. So the idea of universal popularity is just not possible. On the other hand, I think that there are a lot of attributes and characteristics of people that are pretty widely appreciated, like pretty universally appreciated. Like, I've noticed that most people tend to like people who are good listeners, most people tend to like people who are more positive and respectful in how they treat people. It's not true across the board, but uh, these are tendencies that I've noticed. So, uh, doing things like focusing on listening to other people and getting to know people on like a sincere level and a deeper level, I think that that can allow you to connect with a broad range of people. And I also think that having a more positive outlook on life, and especially sort of refraining from judgmental attitudes, like if you judge other people as being kind of less valuable or less worthy of your attention or your appreciation or your respect, I think that that is an attitude that is likely to cut you off from people and kind of reduce your overall popularity. So if you embrace the idea that everybody is a valuable person, and if you act respectfully towards all people, unconditionally, I think that that is a really valuable principle that is likely to make you popular with a lot of people. I kind of wish I had thought about these things earlier, or had people tell me things like this earlier in life, because I think I was inundated with all these messages of like, oh, dress a certain way, do this, do that, to be popular. I do want to say one thing about that, though. I think one thing that can be really valuable for connecting with people is to connect with their culture. So if you come into a new social group and you're not feeling like you really fit in, like people seem to be operating kind of, kind of differently from you, uh, I think that trying to understand the things that people like and the reasons that they make the choices they do can be a really great way to get to know people and to sort of fit into their world in a more positive and more natural way. 
And that can be by stuff like uh, getting to know people's tastes in music, in clothing, in food, things like that. Like I found that especially music and food can be like a real bridge into unfamiliar cultures. Like right now I live next to a Korean neighborhood and I've become hugely fond of traditional Korean food. And I have gotten to know a little bit about it. Uh, I've even done a little bit of cooking at home. And it's this thing that I can now talk about with Koreans. And I've had a number of people get excited about how much I'm into that food. So it's just like a little example. It's not necessarily the deepest thing, but I think that having familiarity with cultures, whether it's like a mainstream popular culture or whether it's like some minority culture that is in your area, I think that connecting with culture can be a really great way of connecting with people. And again, can kind of improve your popularity in a sense with people in terms of just making it easier for people to relate to you. Uh, so I hope you've gained some insights from this. Uh, I would encourage you to share if you have anything to add, any new suggestions of ways to approach this, or if something I said resonates with you or doesn't, please comment. And as always, I love when people share my videos or subscribe to my channel. Thank you.